Yo, this is your boy Zambe Nichi by X and I'm back with another video. Yo, 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 you know what has happened? I've just crossed the 700 subscriber mark. So I now have 700 subscribers. Wow. Yo, I don't take you for granted. I think you're awesome, you guys. You people who are supporting me, you ladies and gentlemen who are supporting me, you're doing a good thing. You know what? I'm going to give you more videos more interesting video besides i was at 22 miles um two days ago somewhere there yeah and i did mention that i wanted to take you to see where the pretty hotel is at that time i couldn't really like you know i went out of time and it was starting to rain you know what i mean but now i want to take you there okay so it's the poster over there check it out check it out Okay, okay, so now we're gonna go down there. Okay, now just to give a snippet to where I am at, let me just do this. Let me do this. Let me circle around. So that's where I am at, at 22 miles. Okay, guys. So like I said last time, I want to take you to where the Pretty Hotel is. Okay. So if you guys want to come for a holiday, or if you want to come and chill somewhere where there's a lot of quietness, you know what I'm saying? This is the place to be. You get what I'm saying? If you're coming from uh, New York City and you want to be somewhere where you can work, <laughs> where you won't get disturbed by anyone, away from the city, away from from pollution <laughs> okay environmental air pollution this is the place to come to okay guys so now uh, I want to find out how do I go down there or oh, maybe I should just walk let me just ask some gentlemen over here Boss, you got from here. Ah, my, my hours. I mean, my minutes. I got to go, go end up approach our hotel. Check it out, man. My minutes. Hmm. It's three kilometers inside. Like the, like the four kilometers inside. Okay. So you can like about the eight or fifteen. Oh, that's far. <laughs> so now, uh, booking a taxi today is how much? 150. So it's very far. Ah, okay. Okay, I just wanted to know. Thank you very much. Uh, right. Okay, so he tells me from the roadside it's 150 kwacha to book a taxi to go inside you see now uh, it's, it's pretty far away from the way he has explained the place so you know what I want to do I want to walk down there okay I want to walk down there because the way I've understood Zambia Zambia is a uh, kind of a place whereby when you go in somewhere and you are really bothered you want to go somewhere just start walking okay Start walking towards that place and as you walk what's gonna happen is you're gonna find vehicles going in the same direction where you are so you simply stop them and they'll tell you oh uh, we can drop you further on you know what I mean maybe they'll charge you maybe they'll just take you for free you see what I mean that's how Zambia is so when you go in somewhere very very far and you really don't even have money to go there okay then all you do is just take a step of faith and start going there then as you go there, hitchhike, you find that you will get to that destination for free. <laughs> you see what I mean? And if I do, you're going to pay 
you will pay very little. Okay. See where we're going. That is where we're going. Because I want you guys to find, to know the location of where Procha Hotel is. Because Procha Hotel is a big name, it's not a small name. In Zambia, that's one of the top three, okay? Most expensive hotels, all right? Now, how it found itself here, I don't know. So we're gonna find out, okay? So we're gonna head there, all right? Let's rock on. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's like there's a company that sells roofing ships. Okay? What? Bapanga my roofing ships, see, company. Oh, you pack? Ah, yes, yeah, let's go up with the number, Oh, this is the big outside. Ah, okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, so it's like they manufacture roofing sheets, but it's not known where their location is. But I'm sure it should be very nearby. The best thing is to just call them and then just find out. Okay, guys, so we continue walking. Continue walking. Boss, but pretty out there in my minutes, young guys. Up, Namendo. Eh? I think I am for a good forty minutes in that Forty minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nipa, yeah, nip, eh? Nipanga my YouTube videos. That's why I'm on the camera. Okay. Me is my YouTube. Ah, YouTube. Eh? Okay. Come in a camera, me in a point. Eh? Ah, phone na here. Eh, but you can find the internet, by YouTube. Eh, by YouTube. Eh, you can find my videos. Oh. Eh, you know, young ni Zambian YouTuber X. Zambian YouTuber X. Oh. Eh, Zambian YouTuber X. So you can find internet, by YouTube. I'm searching a Zambian YouTuber X. You can find my videos. You can find my Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm just explaining to him that I'm a video guy, he's a man YouTuber X, my name. I'm encouraging him to, okay, to view your videos. Yeah. Okay, so guys, I'll, I'll be back with you when we get somewhere near. We're just walking. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to go to internet. Yeah. I'm going to go to the internet. Okay. Okay. Now this road that you're seeing goes all the way up to Chisamba. It does not pass through the tour gate, so some people even abuse this road by using it as a bypass to dodge the tour gate fees. Can you imagine that? That's what my brother just told me here. So as you can see, this is a proper, proper, proper farming area. This is serious, serious farming area. Okay. So I'm in my farm, okay? 
Yeah, if you are looking for a farm, there's a lot of space here. This is the place to come. If you don't know 22 miles, 22 miles is the best place for a farm. Okay? For anything that you want to do that requires a lot of land. Okay? Uh, Piggeries, poultry, a lot of space is available. This is the place. So if you are living in Lusaka, okay, in the central business district, near the central business district, I think you should be thinking of how you are going to move away from there. Because development is not there, it's here. Okay guys. So we are walking all the way up to where there's that red roof. Okay. I think right now we've covered more than one kilometer. We have moved more than one kilometer. Almost, Almost yes. And we have to go three kilometers walking. Okay. That's how important you people are. I'm risking to go and show you where Procha Hotel is and also to show you the type of neighborhood, the type of place that this place is. Believe you me, this place is massive and it's a farm. It's, it's a farm. Um, farming block. <laughs> okay guys. Ah. Okay. So the, the water table is very high here. So you find a lot of uh, a lot of uh, water you know in this this plain there's a lot of water that's why you see the grass is green and it's very good for cattle if you have cattle you know your cattle can really enjoy okay now you guys this place is very this place doesn't have people you see and uh, my brother just told me that you know what we could go 9, 10 kilometers going inside, okay? And we can find land at a very cheap price. So you people who are looking for a challenge, you want to do agriculture, this is the place, okay? Yeah. So those guys are making a drainage to stop uh, the road from getting waterlogged. When there's excessive rain okay in fact speaking of animals there are even some cattle right there in front of us let me show you okay oh sata yeah Yes, boy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get that. 46. Ha, ha, ha. You zombie, eh? Ah, yeah. So far, me and you could. Could he? Oh, you are fine. You are fine. Okay. He says he has 46 heads of cattle and uh, the cattle seems to be enjoying, you know, there's a lot of food for it, okay, and this put bells on, on the cattle so that wherever the cattle is, you can locate it, wow. Six, 
Ja, ja. Yes. Ja. We have walked for, I think, two kilometers. And there is no vehicle which has bypassed us to give us a lift. You can walk even four or five kilometers, and that's maybe when you find maybe a cheaper truck to give you a lift. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's even other farmers with greenhouses. Yes, let me see. Polytango. Oh, I go. Oh, I go. Potu. Potu. Oh, plant, plant, and chicken. No, just one for plant. Hmm. These guys are advanced, both. Eh? Oh, no, many are pangia. Hmm. So these are my gardens, my cat. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. See ya, see? These guys are serious, see? Eh? Greenhouses. <laughs> and they are plenty. They've made a lot of... So like, like my, my greenhouses, young guy. Young 50. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my friend is telling me that uh, there's over 50 greenhouses inside. You know, this is serious agribusiness. Okay, very, very serious agribusiness. Okay, let's see there. Oh, so organization. Ni church, but he pang and I'm on my farm. So, what it is is uh, this premises is actually owned by a church. <laughs> the church is called Harvest ba Baptist Church. And the farm is harvest growth. Okay? It's like they are serious commercial farmers. Okay, some churches, yes, they do own, you know, enterprises, farms, and all that to help with the church. You see what I mean? To help the church. You see what I mean? Which is a, a good thing. Instead of taking tithes from people, it's better for the church to make money and let people tithe only what they can tie, you understand? Rather than forcing them to hand over everything they have to the church. You know what I'm saying? It's better for people to just give as they can. You see what I mean? Yeah. Tithe is important, yes. <laughs> what my friend is telling me is that this place, this farm, has a lot of game <laughs> inside. A lot of game animals, okay, and uh, it's like game farming is a big thing in this area. There's a lot of people dealing in game farming, okay. Yeah. So our uh, Nyanyama more than protein. Hey? Yes, yes, yes. My friend is telling me that this, this farm has got more more animals than Protea Hotel, because Protea Hotel also has a game. A game farm where you can go and oh so this one they also charge to see the game yeah yeah where is the, the gate of this farm up to the gate ah this farm goes all the way up to the gate ha 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 so it can even be 500 hectares, eh? More than that. Maybe 1,000. Yes. My friend estimates this farm should be about 1,000 hectares. It's got a lot of game. I think if you see the previous video I made about these two miles, I saw a a, a gate, Langa something safari, eh? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. just that side near the Chinese factory. 
Ya. Yeah. 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 So that farm goes all the way up to here. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, that should be about 1,000 hectares. Ah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See ya. <laughs> Okay, so that sign post is saying Procha Hotel is 100 meters. The entrance to Procha Hotel is 100 meters. Then the hotel itself is 4 kilometers inside. Okay. So this place is it's huge, man. My friend is telling me that uh, there are lions inside. And uh, when the lions cry, he's able to hear them uh, a further 5 kilometers where he stays. So he's walking nine kilometers inside. Okay? He's telling me that if he's lucky somebody who passes, we can give him a lift, but if no one passes, he should be able to finish walking that nine kilometers in the next one hour. Okay? So ha ah, this place. Now we are not allowed to walk from the gate going inside because of animals. They are dangerous animals. Wild animals. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. No. Okay. Why is there? Why is there? Oh, boss, thank you, thank you. But let me pay you. All food in the to me now. Mutungo. 74. No problem, boss. Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you, boss. Okay, boss, thank you. So here I am, you see the entrance of Procha Hotel. Okay. There. <coughs> So this ah we know we So this is the entrance of the hotel. Now you guys who are used to New York City hotels, this is a five star hotel by the way. Okay. If it's not uh, if it's not a five star hotel, then uh, hey, look at this. Notice, day visitors, a cover charge of hundred kwacha per person will be applied to all non dinner diners. Picnics prohibited on premises. Okay, boss, we bunch. No boss, Ah, we no boss. Now, but I try to take a visit. Yeah, so now on a party, we have to do what, eh? Okay. So you think we should have one? Could you put? We we don't. You from our chair we go on. Okay. Ah, we are not going to move. Oh. Ah ah. Okay. Hmm. So I'm told you have to have a car to enter. Okay. But the uh, Ah, Okay. So I'm told you have to have a car to enter. to have a car to come and pass on a day like today. Because there's only people doing a conference inside. Otherwise, it's, it's difficult. 
Sure. So I think from Monaco, Monaco, and Yaman, she could have a day. Yeah, it's very old to say, but I don't know. Oh, but you move. What was in the group? What was the Okay. So he ended quite. He could have made a Oh. So he could be creepy on a motor car, your own and your. Okay. So sightseeing is 100 kwacha and then uh, when you go to the game again there is another feather charge. So guys it's at 4 kilometers. Yes. It's 4 kilometers. The hotel is 4 kilometers. And in between there are lions, zebras, giraffes. It's dangerous. So unless there is a car to push me. Otherwise I can't. See why? Ah. Okay, okay, boss. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Okay. Thank you, boss. Okay. So, upon you, you can buy a good day. Very old. Saturday, yeah. Saturday. Okay. Okay, thank you, boss. Okay. He has advised me to come here on Saturday, on Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. So that uh, I can chance a vehicle which is going in four kilometers inside. Right now, as it is, it says the chances that the vehicle will come are very low. You see, because the only people who are inside are people who are doing the conference. So, you guys, I wanted you to see the hotel itself, man. But mm, it's crazy. You need to have a car to enter this place. If you don't have a car, you can't enter this place. You know, or else you'll be eaten up <laughs> by the game. Ah. So now, how do I get back? So now that friend of mine who was uh, accompanying me is over there, it's very far. He has moved. There. I guess if I if I walk fast. I can find him. Okay. Since he's smoking and drinking. <laughs> he's smoking and drinking as he's walking. <laughs> what do I have? That's interesting anyway. Okay. Let me just uh see. My friend has slowed down a little bit because I want to catch up with him. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I'm going to have to try. Okay. Since we can't get into Pocha Hotel, so we might as well go nine kilometers inside and just see what's, what's at the far end. You get what I mean? Yeah. You see, the scary thing is that on my, on my left side, this side, this is my farm. This is the game we live. <laughs> Inside, there are lions, zebras, elephants. I don't know what else is inside. So I'm gonna to have to walk quick because I don't want to be walking alone. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 
but probably I should start running. You know? Should start running. Mind you, This year there's some people man. <laughs> wow. Oh. I'm gonna have to run from here. I catch up with my friends over there. As well over there. Oh my god, this is a giant warehouse that's been built here. <laughs> giant warehouse. I don't know what this premises is going to be for, but it's got some giant structures, eh? giant warehouses. And it's got its own transformer, meaning it's got three phases of electric, electric power going in. Here, cheaper trucks are like one of the main forms of transport. Okay, I'm almost catching up with my friend over there. Huh. Okay, I can actually see some zebras. Far away. I don't think this camera can reach there. Yeah, there are some zebras a little bit you know you know inside this uh Pocha hotel it's very big it's huge 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 uh, land okay hmm. and the soil here is very sandy see so for panga nyumba nga tinga ya mini sand Iba ma using a can building in Chinese, but oh. the buildings and in the 
That's why you load the mupeze ka maningi ma tipa. Oh! Vatenga kungu sangi. Well, this place has a lot of building sand. So people come here to get building sand and go and sell it in the, in the oh, river sand. inner side of Osaka. Oh, river sand. There! Okay. Yeah. Because this place is waterlogged, so the, the animals come to the wild animals come to drink water. Yeah. Okay. This is peaceful land. Yeah, very peaceful. Was ah, no junks. <laughs> no yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh. I just saw I just saw a monkey. The monkey I just seen you and started running away. So this place has a lot of monkeys. You know? So if you're growing if you're growing corn, maize, they could eat your corn. Yama Jamatawa for monkeys. Oh, they go to steal tomatoes as well from the Chinese farm. Chinese farm we part. Oh, the Chinese farm. My hectares are gati. Okay. Even day, I just have tomatoes. Day. Sure. There's a Chinese commercial farmer who is very specialized at tomatoes and the farms like crazy. So <laughs> this place is serious man. It's the factory of farms. Oh So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 i so, the so, 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 Protea hotel ends here. The game part. Protea hotel. So it continues going that way. Okay. Mm. 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 Okay. So, Papa, you want to apply? Okay. 
Okay, so here there is a settlement of people and the good thing is they have they have electricity. The other settlement that I showed you people near 22 miles bus stop by Great North Road doesn't have electricity. But here we are nine kilometers. How many kilometers? About nine, ten, eh? Nine. Nine kilometers from Musak. And they have electricity. Sorry, not, not nine kilometers from Osaka, we are nine kilometers from 22 miles. Okay, nine kilometers inside from 22 miles. And there is electricity and everyone is, is happy. <laughs> community near Nikuru Maninga, right? Maninga. It's like the community is quite big, huh? It's surprising. There's even a community school. No, we just showed you a school here. Huh? Okay. Okay. It's like it's a Kasmo town, eh? In Kasmo town, eh? Or Kasmo village. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is like a small village. Okay. But it's 9 kilometers from 22 miles. And the road still keeps going, right? It keeps going. So. Uh, kuchoka pano, kuka kuchisamba, kuenda huku, inga nkani na ngumahawa ya ngati? Bye ho. Haa, bye ka. So my friends tell me that if we go down this road, another 15 kilometers, we're going to be in Chisamba. Okay? So Chisamba and 22 miles are basically connected. Which is true actually, because when you pass the toll gate, you are already in Chisamba. <laughs> when you are using Great North. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Is it, which council? Is it Chisamba district or Chisamba? Chisamba, but the Chisamba complete change, but Chisamba is again and now. Ah. Okay. Mm. Hey. But Oh, it's under chicken as Mungo. Yeah. Mungo, this is too much land, eh? Too much land. So, I'll punch my minutes and get to the end of it. Ah, I'll punch my way. Ah, that's enough to get a packet of him on to my tower. Eh? Oh. So my friend is saying where there are those twin towers, the mass for mobile phone. That's the place called Kamaira. Okay? That is the main main place. Okay. Okay. You guys, we have walked nine kilometers from 22 miles, and uh, we're in a place called Kamaya. It's a farming area. Okay, it's an interesting area because they've got their own mass. I just showed you the mass for MTN and uh, Zamtel, so internet is very good here. 
Okay, so this is Kamaira. Okay, so this is the settlement called Kamaira. I think I'm only going to go as far as Kamaira. Then I will return to I'll go back to 22 miles. <laughs> okay. Oh, that blue house you see it gives water for free to anyone, any member of this community. They can draw water from there for free. That's very interesting, eh? It's not managed by the government, no. It's managed by the Muslims, eh? Yeah. Tukia, I can see it, Tukia something. Something to do with Turkey, okay? I can see Tukia something, okay? It's an organization from uh, Turkey that's giving people water for free in this community. Okay, so this is a community called uh, a Chinese community, Kamaya. Okay, in the primary school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, two hundred. Ah. The Madwanda Nizi, Mapole Nazi, Amanka, and Ah. Okay guys, so this is Kamaila. We are 9 kilometers away from 22 miles in Lusaka. So it's a community. There's shops, there's, it's a good place. So boss, you are already in the boat. You end down up to Chisam. Oh, that way now is direct, direct to Chisam. Ah. Okay. So yeah, this is bus. If you are in the combo, you are in the combo. the so Katete is how many minutes from here? Almost 10 minutes. Oh, it's near. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, I'm going to have a motorbike. I'm going to have a So I wonder if you have a road in Israel. Ah, I'm going to have a farm. You're farm? It's probably got in for 15. For 15, how much is the I'm on? I'm going to do it. So, I'm going to do your business. I'm going to do it. Oh, you're going to do it. Check out the road. Check out the road. Check out the road. I'm going to do it. 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 <laughs> well guys <laughs> so that was a journey and a half to inside I uh, went nine kilometers inside uh, from 22 miles but uh, I'm not in 22 miles now I'm back in my hood okay. it's crazy so one surprising thing about going nine kilometers into, I mean, from 22 miles, I discovered that that road that I was walking on, I walked nine kilometers. And the road, conti the road continues to the, um, to another, to a town called Samba. Yeah, and it goes right at the central business district of 
to some, but you're gonna have to, you have to move another 15 kilometers from where I reach, Kamaira, yeah, I was at Kamaira. If you go 15 kilometers from Kamaira, you're gonna be in Chisamba, meaning that you would have covered 23 kilometers from 22 miles, and you've been in Chisamba. Now, if you use the normal route, this tarmac route, you're gonna have to cover about uh, about 40 kilometers to get to the HQ. 